In this lesson, we're going to learn how to draw tree diagrams and how to use those tree diagrams to calculate some basic probabilities. So if you take a look at this first example, it says David can order two, one of two pizzas, cheese or pepperoni, and one of four different ice creams, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, or Superman. Draw a tree diagram to represent the possible outcomes. So we start with the first choice, which is cheese or pepperoni. So we're going to do C for cheese and P for pepperoni. Okay, then we're going to look at our next possibility, which is type of ice cream, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, or Superman. So if he chose che cheese pizza, he could choose vanilla ice cream to go with it, chocolate, strawberry, or Superman. If he chooses the pepperoni pizza, he could choose vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream, strawberry ice cream, or Superman. So here you see all the different combinations that are illustrated. So for example, this illustrates that David ordered cheese pizza with strawberry ice cream. This illustrates that he ordered pepperoni pizza with vanilla ice cream. This illustrates that he ordered pepperoni pizza with chocolate ice cream. So each of these, um, each of these letters at the bottom represents one of the combinations that could have happened. So if we count these up, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight combinations that could have happened. So there are eight combinations if he has two choices of pizza and four choices of ice cream. Another example. Alyssa has, or Alisa has two or can get two kinds of markers, erasable or permanent, with five ink colors, red, black, blue, green, or orange. He can draw on a pink or white paper, draw a tree diagram to represent the possible outcomes. So the first, first choice we have is erasable or permanent. The second choice we have is red, black, blue, green, or orange. So red, black, blue, green, or orange. And I'm going to do that for this one too. So if he had a permanent marker, same, the same colors apply. He could have a red, black, blue, green, or orange. And then the third choice, actually, is he can draw on pink or white paper. So for each of these ink colors, we could have pink or white. Pink or white. Pink or white. And we continue that pattern. Okay, so there is our tree diagram. So to show you what some of these mean, if we take this one for example, this means that it was a pink, pink paper with a black erasable marker, okay, if you trace your way up. This one here means white paper with a green erasable marker. This would mean white paper with a red permanent marker, okay? So again, each of these at the bottom here represent one of the combinations that could be made. So if we count these up, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 combinations. If you have two different types of markers, five different colors, and two different types of papers. So let's see how we can use tree diagrams. Mr. Mundros loves cookies and is choosing between Ore Oreos, Girl Scout Samoas, and Thin Mints. He will wash the cookies down with chocolate or regular milk and finish the healthy meal by eating a cherry, orange, or grape Tootsie Pop. Create a tree diagram to show all the possible combinations of meals. So he could have an Oreo, a Samoa, or a Thin Mint. He could wash it down with chocolate or regular milk. Chocolate, regular. Chocolate, regular. Chocolate, regular. 
And he can eat a cherry, orange, or grape Tootsie Pop. Cherry, orange, grape. 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 Oops, sorry, that should be a G. Okay. The first question here says, find the probability of choosing an Oreo with chocolate milk. So we're going to look up in our tree diagram and we're going to find all the possible combinations of Oreos and chocolate milk. Well, Oreos are in this first section here. Chocolate milk is right here. So anything that comes after this C represent all of the combinations that have Oreos, chocolate milk, Oreos and chocolate milk. So this one, for example, is a cherry Tootsie Pop with chocolate milk and an Oreo. This is an orange Tootsie Pop with chocolate milk and an Oreo. And this is a grape Tootsie Pop with chocolate milk and an Oreo. So um, those are, there are three different combinations that include chocolate milk and an Oreo. Out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 total combinations. Three divide or three eighteenths simplifies to one sixth because you can divide them both by three, and that is the same as sixteen point six repeating percent. So that's the probability. The next one says find the probability of choosing a cherry Tootsie Pop with Samoas. Okay, so a cherry Tootsie Pop with Samoas. Well, here's Samoas right here. And so we're looking underneath the Samoas to find the Cherry Tootsie Pops, which are right here and right here. So there are two Cherry Tootsie Pops with Samoas out of 18 total combinations. That simplifies to one ninth, and when you divide it, that is 11%. So that's a way to use some tree diagrams to calculate, to calculate probabilities. Let's take a look at one more example. Create a tree diagram to show all the possible combinations. It will be big, so write small. And this is if you roll two dice. So if you roll one dice, you could get a one, two, three, four, five, or six. When you roll the dice again, you could get a one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to do that for each of them. Running out of space here. Hopefully, I have room. Okay, I'm going to spread this one down here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right, so find the probability of rolling a sum of nine. Well, that means it adds up to nine. Well, if you look at the one, 1 plus 6 would be the highest, and that only gets you to 7. So there's no sum of 9 there. If you look at a 2, 2 plus 6 only gets you to up to an 8, so that doesn't work. 3 plus 6 gives you 9, so that's one combination. <clears throat> 4 plus 5 gives you 9. 5 plus 4 gives you 9. And 6 plus 3 gives you 9. So there are four combinations out of the 36 total combinations that there are that give you a sum of nine. This simplifies to one ninth, which is 11%. All right, the last one, find the probability of rolling a two and a six in any order. Okay, well here's a two and a six. And over here is a six and a two. So there are only two combinations out of 36 that give you um, a, a combination of six and two. So when we simplify this, we get 1 over 18. And when we divide that, so when you divide 1 divided by 18, you end up getting, oops, I'm sorry, you end up getting 6%.
So there are some examples of how to use tree diagrams to calculate probability.